I'm Brian Jackson, editor of IT World Canada. I'm here in Las Vegas at AWS reInvent, and I'm here in the MGM Grand as well. Uh, behind me, you can see some of the attendees are heading towards the MGM Grand Garden Arena. And that's because there's a special speedway there today, and it's a competition that Amazon is hosting to engage developers and get them interested in training machine learning models with a new method that they're offering called the reinforcement method. Amazon is inviting developers to train miniature cars to complete one lap of a track as fast as possible. The cars are 1 18th the size of a full car. It has a camera so it can see the track. Before the tires ever hit the track, developers train their model on a virtual track in the AWS cloud. Matt Wood, General Manager of Deep Learning and AI at AWS, introduced DeepRacer at reInvent. DeepRacer learns by experimenting in the simulator. Under the hood, there are two neural networks being trained. The first detects features on the track. The heat map overlay shows what the reinforcement learning model is paying attention to, with red being the most important in making driving decisions. The second is the policy network. This is what makes decisions about when to steer left, steer right, or even accelerate. Once it's learned the basics, the algorithm starts to incorporate your reward function. This is just some Python code which tells you the algorithm what behavior to reward while optimizing for the fastest lap time. The race at reInvent is just the start of a series. Amazon is calling it the first global autonomous racing league and it's open to everyone. Races will take place at AWS summits worldwide to compete for prizes and glory. And you might not even need to know how to code to start your engines. James Gill is the CEO of Go Squared. They collaborated with Amazon on the Deep Racer so, uh, League. Deep Racer is all about helping people learn to uh, learn uh, reinforcement learning, uh, and you can build your own model. But the whole point of today is trying to get people that have never even got near. Uh, machine learning or reinforcement learning at all to pick up some of the basics. So you can walk up to one of these uh, laptops down here, uh, you can pick different parameters uh, for the car to do when it goes around the track, and that will give you a model that you can put on the car, and that will help you start to learn uh, the basics of uh, reinforcement learning without writing a single learning code. Suchit Nair is the cloud solutions and services leader at Honeywell. I'm on my way to the session to learn about robo racing. He's interested in how reinforcement learning can help this smart home firm learn about consumer behavior. Basically interested in that from the reinforcement learning perspective because it basically uh, adjusts the in, adjusts the inputs based on the desired output. So that that's kind of really intrigued me into kind of looking at the robo race where how the cars can basically adapt to the uh, situations based on the machine learning. Three, two, one, go! The final race was contested before the final keynote of reInvent. A prize was claimed, but the times weren't exactly blazing fast. And if you're worried about AI taking over, you'll be glad to know that none of the cars could quite finish a lap without a little help from a guiding human hand. Reporting for IT World Canada, I'm Brian Jackson.